Good morning, children. I hope you all are fine and safe at your place. Today, I will start with history, chapter Civilizing the Native, Educating the Nation. The topic that I will explain in this video is how the British saw education. British rule affected Rajas and Nawabs, peasants and tribals. British felt that they had a cultural mission. They had to civilize the natives, change their customs and values. In this chapter, we will learn about what the British thought about our education system and how the Indians reacted to the idea of education which Britishers wanted to introduce in India. In 1783, William Jones was appointed as a junior judge at the Supreme Court that was set up by the company in Calcutta. Jones was not only a law expert but also a linguistic. Many Englishmen such as Henry Thomas Colebrook and Nathaniel Hellhurt were also showing keen interest in ancient Indian heritage just like Jones. Jones, together with Colebrook and Hellhurt, formed the Asiatic Society of Bengal and also started a journal named Asiatic Researches. Jones and Colebrook had a deep respect for ancient culture of both India and the West. So they decided to study ancient texts which would help Indian understand their lost glory. Many company officials supported this idea and also encouraged the building of institutions which promoted learning of ancient Indian texts. They also believed that Hindus and Muslims should be taught those subjects that were familiar to them, not the unfamiliar subjects. With this objective, a madrasa was set up in Calcutta in the year 1781 for promoting the study of Arabic, Persian and Islamic law. And the Hindu college was set up in Banaras in the year 1791 to encourage the study of Sanskrit texts. But some officers were not in favor of the Orientalists, so they were their strong opponents. Many officials started criticizing the concept of teaching Indians the Sanskrit and Arabic literature, because they thought that Eastern literature was full of errors and unscientific knowledge. James Mill declared that British should make Indians familiar with the scientific and technical advances that the West had made and not the poetry and sacred literature. The aim of education was not to please anyone or just to win a place in their heart. In the 1830s, the criticism against the Orientalists grew stronger. One such critique was Thomas Bebington Macaulay. According to him, India was an uncivilized country and need to be civilized. No branch of Eastern knowledge could be compared to what England had produced. He asserted the need for teaching English to the Indians as this would enable them to read Western science, philosophy and the finance literature of the world. Following Macaulay's suggestions, the English Education Act of 1835 was introduced. The decision of making English as medium of instruction for higher education was taken. The Sanskrit College and the Calcutta Madrasa were seen as temples 
of darkness in order to stop the promotion of oriental learning now the next subtopic is education for commerce in 1854 the court of directors of the east india company in london sent an educational dispatch issued by charles wood this was known as wood's dispatch which was sent to governor journal of india this also emphasized on european learning and opposed oriental learning it also laid emphasis on the learning of economics as it would enable indians to understand the importance of expansion of trade and commerce introducing indians to the european way of life would result in the demand for british goods as their taste and preference would be changed wood's dispatch also stressed that european education would generate some good qualities in indians such as honesty and truthfulness this in return would supply britishers with good civil servants who would be trustworthy as per the dispatch many steps were taken education departments were set up to take control over all the educational matters universities were established in calcutta madras and bombay attempts were made to bring changes in the school education system 